in this session we are going to discuss jk flip flop jk this term has come against the name jack kilby who is a famous engineer at texas instruments who has invented integrated circuit in the year 1958 so in case of jk flip flop we are going to solve the rest condition of sf flip flop we know that rest condition of sf flip flop was solved in d flip flop by connecting sr and r inputs through one not gate but d flip flop was having only one input line so two input combinations are possible that is 0 and 1 so now i want to have a two input flip flop where the rest condition will be resolved and that is the version we are observing in jk flip flop so here is the respective circuit for us we know that in case of sf flip flop if we provide 1 1 as input and when the inner flip flop from the clock is getting 1 1 as input then the rest condition was getting restored so now to resolve that issue what we are doing if we provide 1 1 to j and k inputs in, in that case also q bar and q is getting ended with them so q or q bar either one of them will be zero and another one of them will be one so ultimately the inner flip flop is not getting 1 1 as input either it will be getting 0 1 as input or 1 0 as input so the rest condition problem has been resolved in our jk flip flop and also this jk flip flop is having two inputs j and k and that's why we can have four input combinations so here is the truth table for this jk flip flop so j k and previous output which will decide the next output so out of them let us take any one of them arbitrarily and we shall show really this truth table is working fine so let us take this this one so that means for one one input whether in where in case of sf flip flop it was supposed to produce indeterminate condition here it will be producing one as output if the output was zero initially so let us stress this one on this circuit so one one for jk and we are having zero for qt so here will be one and let me check what is the next output coming so now in this case if i make this clock pulse one so one will be coming here one is coming here and zero is coming here so it is producing zero because and get if one of the inputs is zero then output will be zero in that case and here we are having three one so input will be one in case of not get if one of the inputs is one then output will be zero so here will be here it will be zero so zero will be coming here zero or zero is zero not of that one so the next value of q will be one and that has been shown in the truth table so in this way this particular circuit has been tested for this input combination at your end you can also test with other any input combinations you can work you can see that it is working fine on the circuit so this is the truth table of this circuit so now let us have the characteristic equation so i am plotting this qt plus 1 on this three variable kana map here we are having j and k qt so we are having this j k and qt so now all of them are in the same sequence so i am going for 4 here so 0 1 0 0 so 0 1 0 0 we are having this 1 1 1 0 so 1 1 1 0 so i'm finding this so here i'll be getting one cover and another cover will be this one so ultimately it is nothing but so k over qt and this one is j and the last one is this one so in this way we have got the characteristic equation of jk flip flop from this truth table now let us go for the other two table constructions so at next table is the characteristic table where we shall find out what will be the output when certain input is known to us so for zero zero input i am finding here we are having zero zero so the previous output we are getting so i am writing this one as qt for zero one i am finding this one as 0 for 10 i am finding this one as 
and for one one i am finding this one as when it it was zero it will be one when it was one it will be zero so it will be q bar t that means the previous output will get complemented if i provide one one to j and k inputs so in this way the characteristic table we have done now we are remaining with the excitation table in case of excitation table we are having this outputs and for this output change or transition i require the input combination so 0 0 0 to 0 so i'm finding here 1 0 to 0 finding here 1 0 to 0 so here we are having 0 0 and 0 1 so if we go on combining them so it is 0 and x so here j must be 0 and k can be 0 or 1 anything so next one will be 0 to 1 transition so i'm finding this one here i'm finding this one here so here it is 1 0 and here it is 1 1 so 1 is fixed and 0 and 1 means we can make it x we can make it x so 1 is fixed and here it is 0 here it is 1 so i'm making this one x next one is 1 to 0 transition 1 to 0 transition we are finding here i'm finding here so here means this one and this one so that is 0 1 and 1 1 0 means 0 is 0 and 1 means x and 1 and 1 means 1 i can write this one here so i'm looking for the last one that is 1 1 so here you are finding this one combination i'm finding this combination here also so it is 0 0 and it is 1 0 so 0 is fixed and 0 and 1 anything can be applied so i'm making this one as x 0 so that is the required excitation table for the jkf plot this is the block diagram of JKF plot. So here we are having J and K and clock pulse as input and Q and Q bar will be the output. JKF plot is having one problem. Here you see for one one input output will get complemented. So when the output will get complemented then through the feedback paths those output will be again coming to the inputs. And if at that time if the clock pulse is still on then again the output will get complemented and again through the feedback paths the new outputs will be coming to the inputs and if the clock pulse is still on then then again the output will get complemented so as a result of that multiple times the output may get complemented if the clock pulse is remaining high for a certain period of time which is much much greater than the delay time of the this feedback paths so that's why if even number of times of rolling takes place then output will not be complemented ultimately at the end if the rolling is taking place for odd number of times the output will remain will get complemented ultimately so the output will become is unpredictable so that's why this condition is known as turn around condition this particular condition is known as turn around condition and that is the basic problem with clocked jkf plot so in the next video we will be discussing that is how to resolve this one using master slip jkf plot thanks for watching this video